Today I'm going to show you how to make vegan falafel at home with an easy vegan tzatziki sauce. Now you know traditional falafel, it's delicious, but it's fried in oil. And while you're eating it, it seems delicious, but afterwards it leaves you with that heavy feeling in your gut that you wish you wouldn't have had something so greasy but not this one. This oven baked falafel is not only delicious, but it's super healthy and leaves you feeling so good afterwards. I can't wait to show you it. And if you have an air fryer like me, then you get to make this in your air fryer. Today I'm gonna do half baked and half of my air fryer, then I can get them cooking at the same time. Okay, you ready? Let's get started. This is so easy. You need a food processor, and basically you're gonna start with your chickpeas. Now I took one cup of dried chickpeas, and that's the one thing you have to remember, you gotta soak them. Best to soak them overnight, about eight hours. So if you can remember that the night before, it's much easier. After they're soaked, you rinse them off, and then I ran them between two towels because you wanna get them dry. So now you just add these to your food processor and then you're going to add uh, your garlic and cumin, coriander, turmeric, and then I want to add my cilantro. I'm using cilantro and parsley. You know, traditional it's more parsley, but I like both and I'm going to add both here. But if you only have one, do one. Okay, now we're gonna get the lemon in there. So I would say that's the juice of one lemon. And then we're gonna throw in a quarter of an onion and a chili. You, I don't like things spicy. If you like it spicy, then you can add uh, a hot chili if you want, but I'm just picking a mild chili. I think now we just gotta do our salt and pepper. And if you're salt free, then you can eliminate that step. Okay, now we're gonna pulse it and you wanna get it quite well mixed, but you still wanna see some grain to it. I always like to take a spatula and brush it down the sides when I'm using a food processor, just so I get everything incorporated. And it's looking good. I think one more. That should do it. It's always great to be able to taste first. Although garbanzo beans have a bit of a bitter taste, the lemon is really important. So I did juice of a whole lemon. All right, so let's put this in our bowl now. Okay, so now we have our mixture. We're going to add a little bit of chickpea flour. I have two tablespoons of flax, ground flaxseed and chickpea flour. So first let me start with the chickpea flour. This is to help bind it together and the flax especially because when it gets with the moisture. Okay, so now we mix that around. Most of the time I make this, I use two tablespoons. And if you need more, feel free to add more because Depends how much lemon juice you put in, how much water's in the chickpeas when you use them. Now, how you know is you wanna go like this and make, make a patty. I think that's pretty good because I, I like them moist. I'm liking that right there. Let's get making our patties, but first I'm gonna clean up a little and I'll be right there. Okay, while I let it sit to gel a little bit more, I did the dishes and now we're ready to form our patties. So you can make this any size you like. Actually, if you make them bigger, they just take a little longer to cook in the middle. But I like mine about like that because then you can put them in pitas, three or four of them. You can put them on a salad, but you can do a burger size and make a falafel burger out of them. Always when you're forming them, try to get the edges so they don't crack. Those are ones I'm gonna bake and then I'm gonna do some in the air fryer. You can make them in balls as they serve in a lot of falafel places, but I always like the option of inside a sandwich, so I like them flat. You can put them tight together also because they're not gonna expand. I love serving these just on a gigantic salad. I'm gonna show you how to do that today, but also in a pita bread. 
So you can see I have 11 in my air fryer that's lined with parchment paper and 12 on my baking sheet lined on parchment paper. And now I'm gonna put them in the oven, both 400 degrees. And while they're cooking, I'm gonna make the vegan easy tzatziki sauce. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, now let's make our super easy vegan tzatziki sauce. It's really simple. We're going to use white beans, and those are always a really good option when you want to make something creamy. I use a lot of white cauliflower and white beans. So we're going to start with one can, rinsed, and then I have some cashews and some soy milk, and I soaked the cashews before, and now I just continued soaking them in the soy milk. But you can just put them straight in the soy milk. So we're going to add that. And now we're gonna do some lemon. So I'll make sure this way I don't get any seeds in there. I think we're gonna need a little more. And then we're going to do garlic. You can always add more lemon later. And then we need to put this cucumber in there because this is gonna give it that tzatziki flavor. But we need to peel this because I got these not at the farmer's market and the skins are kind of waxy even though they're organic. So you don't have to do a perfect job, but the skins get kind of thick and bitter on this kind of cucumber. Just give it a rough chop, throw that in. Then we're gonna do a little salt and some dill. Fresh, of course, if you have it. Now let's just blend that up. Okay, we need to taste that. You want it really, really smooth, so I need to do it more because it's still a little bit grainy. That should be enough. Now let's taste it. That's good. That cucumber in there is so refreshing in the lemon. And I like the cashews in there. If you don't want to put the cashews, you don't have to, but the white beans make it really creamy, but the cashew make it creamier and give it a really beautiful flavor and texture. And if you didn't have time to soak your cashews, just put them in boiling water and just let them sit for 15 or 20 minutes if you can and then they'll blend up and you know it's only pieces of cashews if you keep going you'll get them smooth in a blender like this okay so let's put the sauce in a bowl just so you can see it coming out and you can see there's a lot of sauce here so you can use this for salad dressings it's really nice or over sandwiches so there we have it. Okay, so now let's build our sandwich and our salad and then we get to taste it. I can't wait. Okay, so let's get the falafels. So these are the ones in the air fryer. They got nice and crispy edges and these are the ones from the oven and they both look good. So if you don't have an air fryer, they're delicious either way. So let's just make these look nice and we're gonna stack these in our bowl. We'll put the air fried ones over here on one side. Then we're gonna put the oven baked over here. Okay, so now let's get the pita bread. It's all nice and warm. And I'm just gonna cut it in half and then we're gonna stuff it. Lovely, it smells delicious. I like to put some sauce. I sprinkled it with black and white sesames in and around and then we drizzle also more on. Okay, so let's do falafel, there, lettuce, tomato. Okay, now for the taste test. So isn't that beautiful? We have avocado, tomato, lettuce, falafel, cucumber, tzatziki, and I'm gonna put even more on the top because I want some with every bite, especially on that falafel right there. It's messy, I can tell. Mmm. Wow, that's so fresh tasting. You feel like you could eat this whole thing and you're not gonna feel unwell at the end of the night. This is fantastic and you gotta keep that sauce close by because that's just a killer. That sauce is so refreshing. You really taste the cucumber, it's awesome. And I just wanna show you, this is another really great way to have it and you could get a scoop of hummus and put a nice big scoop of hummus. And then, you, you know, underneath I have all my cucumbers and my spinach. I have my falafels, my tomatoes, my onions are in there. 
and then you just do a nice little, you know, beautiful little dressing. You just do it like this and more as you go. And then you take a bite of the. Oh, fantastic. That is really good, but I'm saving this for dinner because if I eat all of this and this sandwich, I'm done for the day. I love sharing oil-free recipes with you because many of them you can't even tell. Honestly, you can tell when you go and you have falafel out of your house because it's so greasy. Everything's greasy and you feel heavy and not well when you're done. But with this, oh my God, this is amazing. Mm, mm, mm. And that falafel, it's so good. You guys got to try it. And while you're at it, please subscribe. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks, you guys.